Hi everyone, it's Donna here. And today I have a couple of grab bags and then a pile of uh, embroidered linens. Um, first of all, I, I want to thank everybody for your, your wonderful comments on my last video, the, um, the present I made for my mother. I went and gave it to her yesterday. I surprised her. I don't normally go during the week. Um, but they were having a little, little birthday party for her and I showed up and she loved it. She absolutely loved it. I was so happy. She wanted me to hang it up right away in her, in her, uh, living room. Uh, and I did. So thank you all. And I gave her well wishes and happy birthdays from all of you who have sent happy birthday wishes to her. And she wanted me to thank you all. Uh, she was very, very happy. Um, okay, let's get started with today. Um, first of all, there is a $5 minimum order. Just about everything in this pile is $2 or less, so um, keep that in mind. Um, I do ship internationally. As things sell out, I will mark them sold down below in the description box. Everything will be listed in the description box down below. Um, and I think that's it. Let's get started. Lot 175, I have had several times before, it is a three ounce grab bag of snippets. Um, little pieces of linens, things left over from me cutting things up uh, and using for my projects. Um, they are perfect for making clusters and snippets and decorations for your, for your projects. They're all smaller pieces. They're a grab bag. I'm just going to show you really quickly one of them. They'll be very similar in content to and, and how much. This is one, one grab bag here. Um, this one has a piece of eyelet, some filet, some several crochet pieces, another piece of crochet trim, Another small piece of crochet trim, some lace, another piece of lace. They're all different sizes and shapes. Um, some filet. There may be one piece of something with color. This one has a piece of linen uh, that you can use for pockets or cut them into strips for, for tag toppers, whatever. One of these, some eight of cloth, another piece of lace, a couple of little crochet corner pieces, some crochet trim, another piece of, of crochet, another piece of filet. few doilies, crochet, and another piece of crochet. So that's what one of them will look like, similar to that, similar content to what you just saw. That is lot 175, and these are $6 a piece, and I think I have 21 of those put together. Up next is a 30 doily grab bag. These are already put together as well. They are in graduating sizes from about five and a half up to about two and a half. Um, it's just a grab bag of ones that I had left over from making my sets. If I didn't have enough to make another set, it goes into a drawer. And once the drawer is filled, I put together some of these, um, some of these grab bags. There's 30 doilies in here. There will be no more than three of any one particular design of doily. There may or may not be one of these blue ones. If you let me know if you do or do not want a blue, I think I only have two or three that have the blue. The rest are all are all neutrals. So this is lot 176. This is a 30 doily grab bag for ten dollars. And I think I have eleven of these put together. When you order, please tell me the lot number. <clears throat> That's very important so that I get your order right. Hold on, sip of coffee. 
Okay, moving on to the linens. I was going to put together bundles of these, but they're they're pretty taste specific, I guess. So I decided to try doing them um, individually, and they're priced to sell. I've had these in my on my shelf for a long time, and I have never used them myself. So I decided to go ahead and see if anybody else can use them. Uh, lot 177 is a table runner. It has on both ends this pretty embroidered piece with the, looks like a southern bell. It measures 33 inches long by 10 inches wide. And you can see the other end. It has a pretty pink crochet around the edge. Um, this is $2. All of these crochets are $2 or less. That's $177. 178 is an unfinished piece. It's raw around the edges. It is purple with uh, dandelions. The pattern is called Dandelion Down. It measures 24 inches by 18 inches. And the, the background linen is a dark ecru color or a almost a brown color I guess and that's the pattern on it so this piece is one dollar that is 178 I'm putting these 179 is a table runner it is blue with white and blue embroidery it measures 40 inches long by 15 inches wide. Um, it is kind of separating around the edge. You can cut this up in all kinds of different ways. Make, make little pockets out of pieces. Cut that out for something. Cut little pieces out of this. I mean, you can do all kinds of things with, with this one. And it's the same on, on the other end. with a, You see the, the edges are, are coming apart. Um, this is lot 179. I'm asking $1.50 for this one. Lot 180 is a little doily, I guess you can say, table table piece. It measures 18 inches, uh, 18 inches by 16 inches. I don't know which way is which. It does have a stain on the corner here. It's, uh, it's like blue or green ink. Um, the pattern is, I think these, well, these might be rosebuds. First I thought they were tulips. But, oops. There's the pattern. The pretty multicolored crochet around the edge. So that is $180, $1.50 for this one. $181. Is a cross stitch piece. Um, I think this was like for a chair back, maybe, because it's got it's square on this side and then it has the design in the front. It measures 15 inches by 15 inches. There is a basket with pink flowers in it and pretty pretty crocheted edge. There is some discoloration on this one. Usually the camera picks it up really well. It doesn't show really darkly in, in person, but there is some staining along here. So this one is $1.50. That is lot 181. 182 is a tropical pattern. We've got a couple of couple of elephants here with palm trees. It measures 18 inches by 15 inches. And this one is in good condition. This one is cross stitch and embroidery, all hand hand done. Got a pretty crochet edge. So that is lot 182. I'm asking two dollars for this one. Lot 183 is a little table doily. I almost kept this one for myself. It would make a perfect six by nine journal cover because it is 12 and three quarters by nine inches wide. 
nice linen pretty um, pretty edge on it and there's the little the little um, center so this one is lot 183 I'm asking a dollar fifty for this one lot 184 is looks to be in, in good condition I don't see any any stains or damage um, this one measures 17 and a half inches well there's a little bit of discoloration up here but that's barely noticeable um, 17 and a half inches by 16 inches has a nice crochet edge and there's the the flower pattern on it embroidered uh, hand embroidered yep um, so this one is lot 184 I'm asking two dollars for this one lot 185 is pretty purple and yellow it measures 16 inches by 11 inches and I don't see any damage on this one here's the corner piece that would make a pretty pocket on a journal or even a journal cover um, I am asking two dollars for this one and this is lot 185 186 is um, like a small tablecloth I guess uh, it is 21 inches by 20 inches it's cross stitched with floral pattern there is some missing edging it goes to here and then it's missing for around there and then it continues all the way around there are a couple of hmm, it's not a stain it's like a little like a snag or something but this is the pattern on the the, the main corner and all four quarters have different colors of the I guess tulips so this one is lot 186 I'm asking a dollar fifty for this one and this has wonderful linen I don't know if you can see the texture on the linen in the center part of it 187 is another cross stitch it measures 15 inches by 13 inches and it has a saying on it this place stands for head health and hand harmony oh head heart and hand harmony health and happiness and it has a pretty floral center at the bottom so this one is one lot 187 I'm asking a dollar fifty for this one lot 188 is another cross stitch and it is actually on eight o'clock um, it measures 20 inches by 20 inches and it has this pattern along two edges and then the center the floral center and then really pretty crochet edge on it so this one is lot 188 I'm asking two dollars for this one lot 189 is a table runner uh, this one does have some well first it measures 39 inches long by 16 and a half inches wide it has hand embroidery a little pink pink edge pink embroidered edge nice linen fabric <clears throat> excuse me there is a stain right there there is a little snag little hole right here but other than that oh nope there's a bigger hole right there it's really pretty pretty embroidery pink and blue flowers 
So this one you can cut up into all different all different things. Great linen center on it. This one is lot 189. I'm asking two dollars for this one. It's a pretty large piece. Lot 190. We're almost done. 190 is a round tablecloth. Where's my little? Well, no, it's not round. It is. Uh, I can't show it. It's too big. It has this arch here, and then it comes down and has kind of a scalloped edge. And that scalloped edge is on both both ends. It measures 40 inches long by 30 inches wide and it has pretty blue um, looks almost tatted um, the edge and then this is the it's like a like a floral wreath at both ends with all the French knots all over it and let's see um, on the sides, there's a little uh, floral cluster, and then the same thing over here with the bow. So this one is lot, where am I? $1.90. I'm asking $2 for this one. And I, I see a little bit of um, discoloration in some places. There's a little bit there. It probably shows up a lot more on camera. Things always show up a lot more on camera than they do in person. There's a little bit of discoloration, but it's really not very noticeable. And then lastly, I'm hoping somebody can use this for home decor. It is beautiful. Um, let me find my thing so I can give you measurements. This is lot 191. It measures 52 inches by 49 inches, so you get an idea of what, it's a tablecloth, and it is beautiful, beautiful embroidery, this is probably, I'm sure, machine embroidery, but let me see, here's one of the corners, and it is in perfect condition, that beautiful, kind of a coral, Coral colored flowers with green leaves. And then, oh, this is, I don't want to get it in my coffee. And in the center is this really pretty. It's almost like, oh, am I even showing the right side? I don't think I am. I'm not. This is the right side. Hold on. Although it looks pretty much the same on both sides. There's the embroidery again. And then the border around the center are these little cut work areas. I don't know if you can see that. You can see my hand through it. And little little fabric pieces in the center of it. Very beautiful. And then there's the little little cut cut out pieces. Very pretty. Here's another corner. I didn't show this part down here. Isn't that pretty? Like purple and mauve. Gorgeous. I'm hoping somebody can use this for their home decor. I don't have a place to, to, to display it. Um, this one is lot 191, and I'm asking $8 for this one. It is beautiful. I'm hoping the camera can, can really... It's very hard to show since it's so big. So, that is all I have for today. Um, if you're interested in any of these lots, send me an email with the lot numbers um, and the quantity if you're doing one of the two first lots. Um, everything else is, I only have one of it, so once it's gone, it's gone. And that's all I have for today. Bye for now.